Alright guys, so basically this is going to be a video, it's going to not be too long, but it's basically going to be like my like technique and tricks on how I try my best to get like the best skin I can possible. Um, there is a lot of stuff I must say, and I don't have a couple stuff with me because it's like in the shower or whatnot, but um, I just want to like try to help my best to help achieve like better skin, I guess, like in no way at all do I have perfect skin. Like, you can't tell right now because I have, like, powder and stuff on my face, but I have a lot of, like, redness, and, like, I have, I have, like, pimples on my face, so it's not like I have perfect skin at all, but this is just what I do to help, like, maintain, like, semi-decent looking skin. So, this is gonna seem like a lot, but I must say that a lot of these things are, most of them are, like, unopened stuff, but I have used them previously, so I just repurchased them, and, like, whenever I'm done with, like, one product, I'll go to this one. But, to start off with just, like, a little basic like thing I say um I take two to three showers a day which I know is a lot but I mean it's just what I do like it works for me like most people would think that's crazy like two I think is enough but sometimes I do three just depending on how my mood is but I have to wash my face and hair a couple like at least twice a day so the face wash I've been using recently um I've been using this right here which is the bliss fabulous foaming face wash two-in-one ex cleanser and exfoliator so this looks like this you can get this from like sephora or ulta um it's not too pricey i think it's about twenty dollars i'm not sure but i'll like just to say i'll put all this stuff in the bottom bar as well but um it's about twenty dollars so it's not too bad um i either use that or cetaphil because i like really really gentle cleansers like i don't really use a cleanser that has anything to do with acne per se it's just i use that just because it's what i like um and one of the things I don't have with me, I have a Claire Sonic Mia. I like the sapphire blue one. And I use that. Like, I don't use it that often. Like, I use it maybe once every other day just because I get lazy in the shower and just use my hands or whatever. But I have that. And the brush that I have on right now is the, I think it's the deep cleans one. Like, the uh, deep clean one. I got the one I'm wrong on accident. I like sensitive better, but I've just been using that one because I have it on there. Um, but like I said, this is the face wash I've been using. So either this or Cetaphil, which is like another calm cleanser. Um, I really like that because it makes your skin feel really clean. It doesn't have, like, any drying agents in it, I feel. So, it just, like, it gives me good skin. Um, then another thing I use is, this is actually one that I have not opened yet, but I've used it before in the past. And it is the Anthony Skin Logics for Men. This is the facial scrub. So, I use this every now and then as, like, an exfoliator. So, it looks like this. Also, you can get this at Sephora, Ulta, and I think Nordstrom you can get it as well. Um... I think this is around the same price, like maybe this is like $30, I'm not sure. But I like this because it doesn't have any kind of fragrance at all, so it's like really, really clean. Um, I would open up and smell it just to make sure, but it doesn't. But I like this because it like has really, really calming like beads in it, so it's not anything that's too rough and stuff. Like I used to use St. Ives, like apricot scrub, that got really harsh for my skin. I felt like that made me break out more, so I decided just to give that a try, and I liked it. So definitely recommend that. Um, it is says it's for men, but it doesn't. I honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever. No one's going <laughs> to... I doubt it has anything to do with that, but that's usually like the face washes I use. Um, if I don't use this face scrub, I use, there's one in my shower I have, it's, it's so cheap. I think I got it for like, I think it's like $2 at like Walgreens and it's the, um, I have a face mask in the same brand. Um, so it's by the same brand as this, the Queen Helen, Helena, and it's like the Honey Almond scrub I believe and I use that because I really, really like it um but I'm gonna do a video about face masks alone uh like later on because I have a lot of face masks that I recommend but so I, those are the cleansers slash scrubs I use but then the next thing I do so this is all gonna be like connected together I guess now but what I do first is after I get out of the shower I use a toner so this is what I've been using right now it's the Murad Clarifying Toner, and this has the uh, Witch Hazel, and I think it says Algae, I don't know what that word is, Extract, and Grapeseed Extract, and a Vitamin E. So this is basically to help, like, reduce shine and clean out pores and whatnot. I use this, I just use, like, a cotton around. Um, you can also get this at Sephora and Ulta. Well, not Ulta for sure, I think you can at Sephora too. Um, I think it's about $20.00. It lasts a while. I've had another bottle of this before. Um, I really like it because it doesn't like overdry your skin or anything like that. I don't even think it dries my skin out actually, but it seems to be working pretty well. 
um, recommend it. I think it lasts a while, like I said, like because you only use a little bit each time. And I use that only in the morning, I'm going to say. Yeah, I usually only use that in the morning. But then, next thing I do, which I just strongly recommend, is always use a moisturizer. Like, I'm going to talk about moisturizers in one second, but I'm just going to tell a couple of things I use that if I don't use that, or if I decide to use this at some point. But I have two, like, acne cream spot treatments. So the first one is by Murad, and it's just the acne spot. Let's see if I can get this. So the acne spot treatment. Um, this one is just has 3% sulfur. And this helps, like, this helps, like, get rid of zits, I believe. Like, I think it's pretty good at it. Like, I honestly have never used this by itself to know if it's good, but I always repurchase it, and I really like it just because I, f doesn't, I feel like it doesn't break me out, if that makes sense. So I always get this just because it's kind of just, like, come natural to get this. So this is pretty good. I think you can get this, again, at Sephora or Ulta. Mostly, I mean, something I have. I know for sure you can get it at Ulta because I've gotten it. That's where I got it. But um, this... And I believe $18, but this does last a very long time because it's only, I need like a pea size amount when you use it. So, recommend this as well. Um, then the next thing is the, I don't know how to say this, but this is what it looks like. It's the La Roche Pousset Effeclair Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment. And this is 5.5 Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Meditation. So, again, it looks like this. Um, I got this from um, CVS. This is a little bit expensive for this, but it does last a very long time. Like, this is 1.3 fluid ounces, but this is about $40, I think, which is a little bit much, but, I mean, it works very, very well. Like, I usually don't use this on my face. Like, I get breakouts on my back and chest every now and then, so I use this on here, and it, like, it it's so good at getting rid of that. Like, I don't use this on my face that often because it does dry out very, very much, but... I don't know, I very, I like this, I recommend this a lot, but I don't know about your face. I recommend this for body, if you ever have any, like, breakouts on your back or shoulders, anything like that. And then, one thing that I, this is, like, I don't go, I don't go without this, but this is the Mario Betisque Drying Lotion. Looks like this has, like, the, looks like that, um... This I got, again, from Ulta. This is, like, I think $12, $18, something, like, some kind of teen, I don't know. But this is, like, the most amazing stuff I've ever witnessed in my life. Like, I don't know how it works for me, because this, I think, is pretty sure it's uh, salicylic acid. Yeah, and I don't do good with salicylic acid. It usually doesn't help me at all, but if you have a zit, but not just any zit, if you have a zit that you popped in the shower, per se, like, because I... I'm one to say that I always pop my zits, even though you're not supposed to, because I hate, I think whiteheads are disgusting. So, whenever I pop a zit, after the shower, I put this on my face, and, like, you leave it on overnight, and I swear, it dries the thing out, and it doesn't make it go away that night, I would say, but it kills it, and gives you, like, it just dries the sh like, it dries it out so bad, and, like, almost makes it go away. So, don't ever live without this. Like, this is probably the most necessary thing I have. Like, I would, I would use this and only this if I had to choose. Like, I... This is, like, the best thing ever. Um, it does last a long time. That's that's true. It does last a very long time. And then one thing I've used previously, which I don't use that often, but I've heard is very, very good for you. It is the... It's just tea tree oil, and I got the Jason brand, um, or Jason, however you want to say it. This is... I got it from Walgreens. I think it was, like, $8, maybe $10. I'm not sure. But this is very good for you. It's just, like, pure natural skin oil. Um... The reason why I don't do this, because I necessarily don't know if it works for my skin or not, like, I've actually only done it, like, three or four times, but I can't say that makes me break out, but I don't think it actually helps repair my skin, because, like, the, it has a horrible, horrible smell, and, um, it's just, like, when you put it on your skin, it makes it feel like, it's like a cooling sensation, but it's, like, intense, like, it's, I don't necessarily like it, like, I don't know, some people say it's really good for you, but I gave it a try, and it's not bad, but it's not great but I wouldn't say don't use this like I would say use this because it's it's natural but I wouldn't say only use this if that makes sense that's just my opinion um and then I'll go into moisturizers I guess well here's one more thing this one I have not opened yet but I've used this previously and this is philosophy clear day ahead so oh Clear day ahead, so it's a little bit shiny if you can't see it, but 
basically these are equivalent to Stridex pads. So these just have, um, they're like little moistened, circled, um, salicylic acid things, which, like I said, salicylic acid doesn't necessarily work that well for me, but it does a decent amount. Like, my hair is messing with me. I take a shower soon. Like, this is all day. This is gross. <laughs> just putting that out there. But, um, this stuff works pretty well. Like, it's just another, like, step into my thing. I don't use it every single day, but I have used them before, and... It does work like basically I've used them before but I want to give it another try if that makes sense because I'm not sure if it worked amazingly because I haven't used them in a while but I decided to re-get them and yeah I just recommend these they just look like I'll take it out of the box so you can see what they look like so they're like, kind of like a stridex pad looking thing so that and then they're just like little pads, so just moistened pads, just like Stridex basically. So these ones are a little bit expensive. I don't remember the exact price, but I feel like it's, I think it's $30, $40. I'm honestly not sure. But these are from Ulta as well. Um, But there's a decent amount of just pads in here. There's 60 pads in here. So if you want to use them every day, 60 days, that's two months. If you want to use them every other day, that's four months. Like it just depends on how you want to use it. So it's like a decent amount of price. So the next thing we talk about is moisturizers. Moisturizing is one of the most important things I say just because no matter what kind of skin type you have, which in my case I have oily skin, which means that my skin tends to get like like oil. Like that makes sense. Like obviously I have oily skin. But just because you have oily skin does not mean you don't use a moisturizer because moisturizers actually help because when you don't have moisturizers, over drying your hair, making your, or your skin, making your face want to like release more oils to help like moisten your skin I guess if you want to say so um my recommendation is always use moisturizer no matter if you don't think you need to or whatever and I recommend using SPF just because the sun does have like rays that kind of help damage your skin so I definitely say use moisturizers even though it could be a hassle or you don't like the way it feels but to be honest it's fine get over it and I'm not sure, a couple of these products I've actually never ever used before, so I'm going to say them, but I'm not going to necessarily, like, suggest getting them just yet because I've tried other stuff by that company and I liked it, so hopefully I'm going to have the same kind of experience with these, that's why I got them. So basically the one that I use on the most, like, I was using the most is the Kiehl's Facial Fuel SPF 15 Sunscreen, um, and this is Energizing Moisture Treatment for Men. Um, I know for a fact this is at Nordstrom, and I think that's about one of the only places you can get it. Like, it's not, like, a popular brand, but it is at the same time. Like, it's, like, a, it's, like, a more hard-to-get brand. Like, I've only ever seen it at Nordstrom, and I believe Macy's has it, if I'm not mistaken. But usually it's at places, like, where you can, like, find, like, it's at, like, department stores, I would say, because, like, it's, like, with like, brands like Mac, for example, like, you can't go to Sephora or Ulta to get Mac. You have to actually go to, like, either the store or find a place that has, like, a mini store in it, like a department store. So, you can get this either online or just at, like, like I just know North Trump sure has this, why I got it. And this is my favorite moisturizer. Um, I like it because it doesn't have, like, a strong scent. Like, it has, like, a decent scent. Like, it's really, really light. And it has, like, a cooling sensation when you put it on, and it does not leave your skin greasy or whatsoever. I definitely recommend this, but I want to try to give other stuff a chance because I feel like my skin might be getting too used to this because I've been using this since I was in about... I got it for the first time when I was probably in 7th grade, and I've been using it ever since then. So, I want to give it just a little bit a try. Like, it's been doing fine for me, but I just wanted to like, give it another try. But definitely recommend this. I think it's about... You can get two sizes. This is the bigger size. It's just 4.2 fluid ounce. Um, I think it's about... $45 for this size, but I've had this for such a long time. Like, I've had this since my birthday back in August, because I bought it as, like, because I had money, so I bought one of this, it was one of the things I bought, because I needed more. So I have this, and it's lasted since then, and I still probably have a third of it left, so. And I used it once to twice a day, so, um, definitely recommend this. And then the smaller size, I think it's about $30, maybe, and it comes in on 2.5 fluid ounces, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure. But, like I said, it works very, very well. Definitely recommend this, no matter what. Um, another one I like that I've been using, which is this one kind of recent. I've had this one for about maybe three weeks. Um, this is the Jack Black Double Duty Face Moisturizer with SPF 20. And it's pure science. Um, I like this one a lot too because this one's kind of like, it reminds me of sunscreen texture. Like, you know the kind that's like, um, 
it's like a watery substance when you put it on but this one like i like this because it rubs in very very fastly and it doesn't leave you having greasy skin whatsoever like this one it kind of like the same effect as that one as the keels one because i like i don't like greasy ones like since i have oily skin i don't like the feeling of oily skin but i like this because it rubs in very very quickly and it like makes your skin feel good so recommend this one highly i've had it for a couple weeks now and i definitely say i like it and it's gonna be a keeper so this one i got from ulta which i think you can get jack black at nordstrom as well and i think sephora may carry it i'm not sure but this was a little bit expensive it cost more than the keels one i believe this one was 50 some odd dollars but this one has more in it this one's 8.5 fluid ounces so when you're thinking about it, it actually isn't more expensive than the one from keels because it's almost twice the size actually it is twice the size of it so this one is actually cheaper, except for I got the bigger bottle. So you can buy in smaller bottles of this, which I believe are like $40, $30. But I just got the big one because I don't know why I got it, but I did. And I definitely like that one. The next moisturizer I have is by Clinique. And this is the Clinique M Protection with SPF 21, which is, I don't know why they picked 21, but this looks like that. Um, this is for men as well. I like this one. Like... It has no scent to it, which I like. I've only actually used it twice, to be honest, but I do like it. Like, it, like I can tell that I like this one. I just, like, have so many moisturizers, so I don't want to use them all at once, you know? So I have to, like, separ and separate them out a little bit, but I definitely do like this one. So recommend this. Um, it doesn't really be greasy, like, eh, greasy, and it's for all skin types, so I recommend this. Mostly all these are all different skin types, I believe, so it don't matter what kind of skin you have, but it's very, very good. Um, I can't give you a full entire, like, in-depth thing on this because I've actually only used it twice, like I said. So, I don't know how I feel about it completely just because I'm trying to use my Kiehl's one up and my Jack Black one just because. Um, this one's fairly cheap, I believe. I think it's, like, $25. Actually, I think it's $24. And you can get whatever you have Clinique stuff. So, like, Nordstrom, Ulta, I think Sephora may have Clinique, but I like it. It's doing pretty well. Um, and then... I'm going to review, like, two last, not review, but just talk about two last things, and I'll, like, give three things that don't take my word on it, just because I never tried them, but it's something that I'm adding to my skincare. So, the first thing is this right here, which is Anthony for Men Instant Fix Oil Control. I like this a lot. I've never used it by itself, but I've used it in with my moisturizer, but I like this a lot, because it's kind of like a, it absorbs oil, and it has a very, very nice scent to it. It smells like I feel like it smells like oranges to me, like a strong, strong orange, but I like it a lot because it just, like, makes my skin feel, it feels, I honestly think it feels gross when you put this on your skin, but once it absorbs and dries, it, like, makes your skin feel, it makes it feel, like, natural, if that makes sense. It doesn't make it feel oily, or it doesn't make it feel dry, it just makes it feel like it's hydrated. So, this isn't a moisturizer, this is just oil control, so definitely use a moisturizer still if you're using this, just because it's not 100% moisturizer. But then, the last thing that I've actually personally tried is the Mario Badescu um, Control Cream, and it just looks like this. It's like, when it's white products, I'm sorry, it's like hard to see because I have like all the lights off, but this is like just a triple, triple, like heavy moisturizer. Um, this is when I have like dry flakes, I use this. So, this one is the same thing that's like the drying lotion. So... This one, when my skin gets really, really dry, I use this because it hydrates it completely. I would not say use this in the daytime just because it's so, so, like, moist and it makes your skin feel disgusting, but it makes it feel good when you, like, get rid of it off or whatever. But I recommend this. And then the next four things I've actually never tried, so wish me luck on them and hopefully I'll like them. But the next thing is another moisturizer, which these are all moisturizers, so one more. But it's just the same thing. It's clear by philosophy, and this is the... Um, oil-free salicylic acid acne treatment and moisturizer. So, I never tried this before, so I'll give it a chance. Um, a little bit expensive. I think it was $40, but maybe I'll like it. But it doesn't expire for a long time. So, most of the stuff doesn't expire for a long time. Like, this doesn't expire until February of 2014. So, I still got a while for this to, like, see. Um, it has two fluid ounces, so I'll see how it works out. So, there's that. Then the next thing is another moisturizer, and then this is by Anthony's. Um which two of them are actually, and I've never tried this one, but it's SPF 15, and since I like the Anthony's uh, face wash and like the oil control, I thought I might like this, so I got this. Um, this was about $30, I believe, but this one has SPF in it, and 
give it a try. Like, don't know how I like it yet because I've never done it. But there's one thing. And then the next one is also by Anthony's, and this is a another moisturizer. Which this one is just another moisturizer. This one doesn't have SPF though, so don't know when I'm using this one. How I like it, but whatever. But then the last thing is the I'm gonna try this tonight. But this is Murad um, Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So it looks like this, and it's just like a little serum. Um, Never tried this, but I have a problem with hyperpigmentation and my, like, acne scarring. I have, like, redness, like, left over, which is, like, the main reason why I use face powder, just to help to control that. But don't know how I'm going to like this. Never tried it. This was, I think it was expensive for this amount. Like, I don't remember the exact price, but I feel like it was $60, $70. I'm not sure, but it, hopefully it works. I have a very, very problem with that. And I want it to be gone, but that's about it. So... Basically, that was all my skincare stuff. Um, hopefully, it helped you out a little bit. Um, and if you have any recommendations that you think that might work out for me, let me know. I'm going to have more videos coming out soon. Like, it's probably going to take forever because, like, I just never have time to do it. But I'm doing it right now. Um, I know I'm going to have videos coming up soon about... I'm going to have one about, like, tanning. Like, self-tanner and, like, tanning bed stuff. Just because there's... I do both. I want to just, like, talk about it, I guess. Just, like, tanning in general, which I might do right after I take a shower tonight. But then the next one is going to be about like facial um facial like masks because i have a decent amount of those and then i'll talk about just more videos up and coming so i'll let you know about that so hope you guys enjoyed this like i said if you have any suggestions or comments just let me know and hope you guys enjoy it so i'll talk to you guys later all right bye